Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. And I'm going to be working with these two sequin mixes right here on my desk. Um, the first one is Call Me Crafty, and that is from the March release. And then I'm also working with the Rainbow Sherbet, and that is from the February release. So I believe the March sequin, um, the whole release is up for pre-order, and I think it's only open until March 9th. Um, but definitely head on to the shop to make sure you get... Um, the entire March release. And don't forget to use my code Brianna15 to save you 15% off um, everything in the shop. Okay, so I am going to be working with the Peachy Keen collection, which is by Fancy Pants, and I got it in my Patreon kit from Erica Rose Creates. And I just recently got the new Distress Oxide Saltwater Taffy uh, ink pad, and it makes me so happy. So, of course, I just got it like the day before I filmed this video. And I just had to use it. And of course it matches the sequins and then it matches the collection. So I'm taking one of my Vicky Booten stencils and I'm going to go ahead and create just a subtle um, little background. I wanted just to have a little bit, I, w I thought about adding several other colors and then adding some water and getting really messy. But I thought like just to do some ink blending first and then to see how I felt. And I was completely fine with just kind of highlighting that uh, new saltwater taffy color. It's so cute. Okay, so I did all of my ink blending. And then now I'm going to go ahead and tear into some of the pattern papers from the collection. When I first started this layout, I really didn't have a design in mind. Uh, I just wanted to have some of the papers because this peach one is so cute. Um, and then I just started kind of playing as I was going and just seeing what I came up with. So now that I had that little piece of the peach paper, I thought it would be neat to add in some of the yellow stripe. And then I'm going to go ahead and layer those up together. Now the photo that I'm using today is of um, my dog Cubby. He's got his little ball and he just looks so cute in the photo. So the, it's pulling the green, it's pulling the red and uh, from his little ball. And then it's pulling his rich reddish brown, um, coat as well. So um, I thought that the background had needed a little bit more uh, ink on the bottom or like in the middle basically because when I put my uh, papers down it just was empty. So I brought in some of that ink blending down and then I'm going to go ahead and back my photo with some vellum. So that's basically kind of the layout of my um, my page and then I'm going to go ahead and mat my photo with a few other uh, pattern papers. So yeah, so I got this Patreon kit from Erica Rose Creates. This is our March kit and it's so cute. It's got so many great um, elements in it and I just love that both sequin mix mixes will match it. Now, I originally just wanted the Call Me Crafty because I love all the pinks in there, but then I thought the Rainbow Sherbet had a lot of the peach and yellows. So that's why um, I mixed both of them. So off camera, I went ahead and, um, well not off camera, not yet. So this is where I'm just pulling in some of that ephemera from the collection and just seeing where I want to put everything. And I did, oh, that's what I meant to say. Off camera, I added my title, which is Sweet Boy because he is, and I think I've used that title on his pages several times, but I just can't help it. He's just so sweet and he's just so cute. Um, yeah, so I'm just adding some of that ephemera in, creating some clusters. I thought those little peach pieces up at the top left were so cute um, and would be a great element to hang down. Um, let's see, I did pull in some of those wood veneer buttons, but I didn't, or I pulled out. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and add those in as like little bases for some of my clusters. And then now I'm going to go ahead and add my sequins. Now, you know, I really love to make shakers and um, that's not all I do, I promise, <laughs> but um, it, it really is my go-to with sequins just because I, I love to make them. It's just my favorite thing to do, um, but I thought for this layout, I can just sit and um, scatter some in a few of my clusters. I'm not a great sewer, so I unfortunately, I don't stitch <laughs> sequins, um, but I love the look of it. I just, it's, I just, I'm not very good at sewing. I can't even sew a button. Um, now I can use my sewing machine, but definitely not a sewer or a stitcher. Um, so yeah, so I am just going to go ahead and use my crystal katana and my scotch tacky glue. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere those uh, sequins down just so there are little pops of sparkle and shine all over my page. It's so cute. And I love the way it looks on top of that uh, stencil background. And I think, what else do I add? I don't think I add too much more to my page. 
I think that's it, but I did add like a, um, a doodly border using my black pen. I trimmed my background down and added it to one of the solid um, pattern or not or solid cardstock that came in my kit. And that's it. So don't forget to use my code Brianna15 to save you 15% off in the shop. Here is my final page. I hope you guys like it. But thanks again for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.